Well, this week I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, I've had an awesome week out on the water. The weather's just been absolutely sensational here in Harvey Bay. And I've been exploring a lot of the creeks that I usually fish that I've sort of, I've left them alone for the last three or four months. Uh, and I've gone back and been playing around, especially at the creek mouths, and just been having lots and lots of fun catching some really decent sized flathead and queenfish and cod and things like that. So today I thought uh, we'd break down one of the creek mouths uh, that I was fishing, play a bit of a game, a fishing game of sorts, and try our luck on guessing where the strike actually occurs. So the first thing I'm going to do is just explain the layout of the ground. Uh, the picture in front is the creek entrance. It's quite small. It's only about two meters wide at the point of the opening that you can see in the picture. If we send uh, this picture to the back, it'll bring up a whole heap of stuff. Okay, so just to explain the layer a little bit better, um, and you can just follow my mouse cursor to see what I'm explaining. Uh, we've got the creek mouth just over here, and as I mentioned, it's about two meters wide. Uh, this black line here and this black line here delineate the little channel uh, that's running straight through here. Now, it's about a meter deep. Um, it's quite narrow, a meter deep, and for those that fish in the Sandy Strait, you'll know that the water moves pretty quick. It has in the last week with the moon phase that we've been having. So that metre little trench there is moving along at a, a pretty good rate. Uh, this sort of triangle shape here is an extension of the mud up here. Um, so it's pretty shallow up in this area. It's about 10 centimetres and then it's making its way down gradually to about a metre deep around here, okay, where all this water sort of uh, is of, of, of the same sort of depth. The tidal run at the moment, the tide has just changed, so it's turning to come in, so it's pushing up the main channel, flooding around this corner where this arrow is pointing, and it's all sort of pushing around like this, pushing around like that, and of course pushing into this channel here and pushing up. Now a couple of features that I noticed uh, using my sounder and just having fished this area a bit, there is a uh, weed located round about there. Uh, so it's all scattered throughout that area. Uh, a bit of weed. And I'll just put this note here so people know what it is. Weedy ground. Then um, the tidal direction just so people know which way the tide's going. So this, the words tide direction are just next to the arrows so we don't forget what they are. Um, and I'll just put another arrow just there because the tide isn't sort of just skirting along the edge of there and wrapping around there. It's actually lapping very gently over the top of this little bit of mud there. Okay. Um, and I'll just, I'll take that out just because it'll get a bit crowded. The other thing I noticed uh, on this particular day in this general area. I saw bait breaking uh, all along there. Different little squirts of them happening here and there and they're all being pushed in various different directions. It was very hard to work out which direction they were being pushed in but they were all breaking in that red area. Okay so there's the setup of the creek mouth. Um, I caught one decent 60 centimeter flathead uh, in this creek uh, on my first cast um, and then pretty much I bagged out on flathead um, within 10 casts basically. They're all grouped pretty close together um, and I think I just plucked it with my first cast but I had a pretty good idea where I wanted to cast because I've caught plenty of fish here in the past so I went straight for that spot knowing what the tide was doing seeing where the bait was and yeah just previous experience I guess I threw a three inch curl tail grub in chartreuse if it's not chartreuse it is no use 
and it was on a quarter ounce jig head uh, using very light four pound platypus uh, braid um, I hoiked it a fairly long way uh, from my boat wind was behind me so which was good um, it hit the hit and within two hops uh, the fish was on and it was on very uh, it was a strong bite so the game is and what we're going to do is we'll have this run from now until Friday uh, the date on Friday is the 27th so that's when I'll be due to put another video up roughly um, so on the 27th I'll basically make part B of this video and that'll be uh, announcing where I got hit basically by the fish in which square and I'm hoping that people will comment on this video or through Facebook it doesn't matter which uh, platform you use you just need to put a comment somewhere in the comment sections on YouTube or the comment section on Facebook on the Twitter account wherever you want to do it just leave a comment and let me know who did it um, and you need to tell me what square uh, I get hit in basically not where I cast to um, but where I get the hit so for instance say I'm going to cast into uh, just plucking here a six and I'm going to retrieve my lure a little bit and I think I'm going to get a hit around there uh, so the answer you'd provide in the comment section would be C6 square C6 is where you reckon the hit actually occurred um, or you might choose you know you, you cast up here and you bring it back on that angle or something and you might get a hit around about there now I know it's going to be a little bit subjective because obviously the fish moves under the water to attack the bait um, but I've got a pretty good idea on where I got hit because uh, I've got the footage the head cam and deck cam footage of the uh, the strike and the fight and I'll put that footage into part B uh, just to back up my justification <laughs> <laughs> of uh, of who got the right answer, um, and I might even uh, I'll throw a, I'll throw a packet of homemade plastics in it um, for the person who I guess gets it right. If there's a couple of people who get it right, it'll be the first person who places the comment uh, who gets it right. Friendly little competition, nothing too serious. Please don't uh, go to the pub and have brawls over it or anything like that. Or go out to the end of the pier and throw each other off. Just have a bit of fun with it, see if you can guess where the strike occurred it might actually surprise you a little bit um, yeah and we'll just go from there and then we'll uh, I'll try and break down a few of the other spots I've been fishing for the same sort of stuff okay so from now until Friday the 27th once this video goes live it'll be up to you to leave a comment on where you think the strike occurred and I'll throw a, uh, a packet of uh, my homemade soft plastics you can let me know whoever wins you can let me know what you want whether you want prawns paddle tails or curl tail grubs or even a hard body if I've got a couple around just let me know and um, we'll sort of go from there um, yeah I think that pretty much covers it if I've missed anything please let me know um, and have a bit of fun with it okay until Friday